Hello everyone, you're very welcome back to Learning English Pro. In this lesson, our English glossary will be concerned with all those useful tools we find in the kitchen called utensils. This promises to be a really interesting lesson which you can use straight away in your home environment. Make sure to revise the word list after the lesson, you can find that in the description below. Also, you'll find lots of links for related content. Before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get updated on all my videos. And without further ado, let's begin our English lesson. Our first utensil is the bottle opener. Repeat this after me. Bottle opener. Let's move on and next up we have the bowl. Bowl. This can be a little bit tricky to say. Let's try it one more time. Bowl. This is a butter knife. I have highlighted the K here because we do not pronounce it. It is silent. Butter knife. This knife has an unusual shape and is used to spread butter. Don't worry, we'll cover lots more knives later in the video. Next up, we have a cake slicer. Repeat after me, cake slicer. Our next utensil originates from Asia and is used to eat chopsticks. Repeat after me, chopsticks. This is a colander. Colander. We use the colander to strain water from food which has been cleaned or cooked. If you need to open a bottle with a cork, you will need a cork screw. Repeat after me, corkscrew. The next word in our glossary is a general term for the utensils which we use to eat, cutlery. Repeat after me, cutlery. The utensils which fall under the umbrella term of cutlery include the fork. Let's try that one more time. Fork. We have the knife with our silent K. And next up we have the spoon. Repeat after me. Spoon. And our final piece of cutlery has the longest name, but it is the smallest. The teaspoon. Repeat after me. Teaspoon. Now, as promised, we're going to take a look at just some of the different types of knives that can be found in a kitchen. The type of knife on screen is called a cleaver. Repeat after me. Cleaver. It can also be referred to as a butcher's knife. Our next type of knife is small and sharp, the fish knife. This can also be called a fillet knife. I'm using the British pronunciation of fillet here. In American English, it would be called fillet, a fillet knife. Something we use with knives can be called a cutting board or a chopping board. And this handy utensil is called a funnel. Repeat after me, funnel. For a lot of people, they will use a knife to chop up garlic into small pieces. However, we do have a utensil for this job, a garlic crusher. Repeat after me, garlic crusher. When it comes to keeping your kitchen clean, you can use a paper towel. In some places, this can be referred to as kitchen paper. 
When food needs to be served in very small, thin pieces, we can use a utensil called a grater. Repeat after me. Grater. Another very handy utensil we can use in the kitchen is a scissors. And because this type of scissors needs to stay in the kitchen for hygiene reasons, we would call it the kitchen scissors. Repeat after me. Kitchen scissors. When we need to remove something from the oven when it is hot, we can use what's called oven gloves or oven mitts. A spoon which is quite big and quite deep is known as a ladle. Repeat after me. Ladle. When we need to take juice from a lemon, we use a lemon squeezer. Lemon squeezer. To measure ingredients for a recipe, we would use what's called a measuring cup or a measuring jug. So we have measuring cup or measuring jug. A smaller version of this is a measuring spoon. Repeat after me. Measuring spoon. To remove the hard outer shell of a nut, we have the nut cracker. All one word. Nut cracker. Our next utensil is actually two items used together. The mortar and pestle. The part that looks like a bowl is called the mortar and the pestle is the tool which we use to grind food into the mortar. Our next utensil is the sieve. Repeat after me. Sieve. If you're enjoying this video and would like to support my homegrown channel, Learning English Pro, here is your chance. YouTube has added the super thanks button to my profile. So if you want to send a little love my way, you can send me the tip of your choice. All support is greatly appreciated. Okay, let's get back to our lesson and our next utensil, which is the spatula. Repeat after me. Spatula. This utensil is called a tongs. Repeat after me. Tongs. Like scissors, we always use the plural form of this word. Tongs. Our next utensil is great for mixing ingredients. A whisk. Repeat after me. Whisk. A tool which is used to remove the skin off fruit and vegetables is called a peeler. Repeat after me. Peeler. A tool which is used to grind and serve pepper is called a pepper mill. All one word. Pepper mill. This utensil is called a rolling pin rolling pin. To cut pizza, we use the pizza cutter. Repeat after me. Pizza cutter. If you like soft mashed potatoes, you will need a potato masher. Repeat after me. Potato masher. And that brings us to the end of this English lesson on vocabulary relating to kitchen utensils. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. And if you thought I've forgotten anything, let me know and we might have enough vocabulary for a part two. If you're like me and passionate about English vocabulary, you should head over to my YouTube channel, Learning English Pro, where you'll find a full range of vocabulary lessons covering a huge range of topics.
And coming up on screen are some video suggestions just for you, along with the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So hit that to get all my videos. That just leaves me to say, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for checking out the video. And remember, keep learning English like a pro.